Hi, this is Piyush Pragava, and I have an interesting case to share with you. These images are from a patient who has history of melanoma. The initial tumor was resected from the left distal thigh, and patient presented with a nodule that was felt in a subcutaneous location. The whole body PET CT scan was negative, and the transaxial fused image at the level of the palpable tumor did not show any focal hypermetabolism. The ultrasound showed a tumor nodule measuring 2 by 4 millimeters. A biopsy was performed and it was negative. Patient came back a few months later. The nodule was larger um, and larger when felt. And patient underwent a whole body FDG PET CT scan. And now there is focal hypermetabolism seen in this region of the left distal thigh. The ultrasound showed the nodule was bigger. It now measured 4 by 6 millimeters. On the transaxial PET CT image, now there is focal hypermetabolism and a more solid looking soft tissue density. And a FNA was positive for recurrent melanoma. I have another companion case. Melanomas are notorious for soft tissue metastasis. This patient presented with a nasal melanoma seen here on the sagittal CT showing focal hypermetabolism here on the MIP image from the FDG PET CT scan. At that time of their staging, their PET CT at this level was negative and a few months later, the only new finding that was seen on their CT was this soft tissue density nodule seen posterior to the left kidney which was biopsied percutaneously and was positive for metastatic melanoma. Here is another patient with history of melanoma and a PET CT scan was performed for staging. On this rotating image there are multiple foci of increased uptake and these are being localized on the transaxial images on the right side. So they have metastases involving the soft tissues and these uh, involve the right paraspinal muscles in the region of the neck. Seen here there is a supraclavicular nodule on the right side as well, there is a hypermetabolic lung nodule on the left seen here. More involvement of paraspinal muscles at the level of the lumbar spine um, as seen here. So like I said before, uh, melanomas are notorious for soft tissue metastases. They can go to lungs and they can go to bones as well. Here is another case, an interesting finding. This patient was started um, on a new therapy with nivolumab and a few months later presented with this PET CT scan where there are multiple foci of increased uptake seen in the subcutaneous region predominantly in bilateral lower extremities. So a suspicion of recurrent or metastatic melanoma was raised. If you would notice on the corresponding CT images there is some fat stranding in this region and no well-defined tumor. So here is a nodule in the right upper thigh in the medial aspect and another nodule in the left leg which is seen here is a focus of hypermetabolism and some fat stranding. So he was then referred for percutaneous biopsy and the ultrasound showed ill-defined hyperechoic focus consistent with fat density um, in the thigh and also in the leg. This nodule right here was biopsied and it turned out to be negative for tumor and it showed fat necrosis. So fat necrosis was the immune related adverse event that was visualized on the PET CT scan as FDG avid foci in a subcutaneous location as an adverse response to nivolumab. So another interesting finding in a patient with melanoma. Thanks for watching.